The purpose of this video is to introduce you to a specific class of proteins called the histone variants. We've already talked about the nucleosome quite a bit. As you know, it consists of two copies of each of the four core histone proteins, H2A, H2B, H3, and H4, as well as 147 base pairs of DNA. These four histone proteins are called the canonical histones. As cells go through the cell cycle, the point where histone proteins are most needed is during S phase, when the DNA is being replicated. New DNA strands are being generated, and now we have twice the amount of DNA that needs to be packaged in the nucleosomes. To make sure that the histones are available, the expression of the histone genes is coupled to replication, and only during S phase, new canonical histones are being generated. Here is a diagram of the replication fork. The old histones, in gray, are distributed to both of the new DNA double strands. The histone chaperone CAF1 brings in the H3H4 dimer right after the DNA polymerase has moved through. This is the first step in nucleosome assembly. FACT, or NAP1, can bring in H2A, H2B dimers as needed. But what happens if the cell needs histones in other parts of the cell cycle? For example, if some histones get dislodged during transcription or DNA repair. This is one of the roles of histone variants proteins closely related to the core histones that carry out specialized functions. You can see from this diagram that all of them, with the exception of the linker histone H1, share the histone fold domain, shown here in green. You can also see that the number of variants differs among the core histones. H3 has several, and so does H2A. A lot of these histone variants are species-specific, but there are a few commonalities. Most species have a version of H3.3, SynH3, and H2AZ. H3.3 and H2AZ will place H3 and H2A if a histone dimer is dislodged during the passage of the RNA polymerase during transcription. This is diagrammed above, with the RNA polymerase shown in green. Sometimes, the polymerase partially dislodges the nucleosome, and thus either an H3H4 dimer or an H2A H2B dimer has to be replaced. The bottom panel on the left shows how the hero chaperone assists in replacing H3H4 dimers with H3.3H4 dimers, while the left panel shows the same for H2A H2B dimers being replaced by H2AZ H2B dimers. Swear 1 is the chaperone replacing H2A with H2AZ. Because H3.3 and H2AZ are replacing histones dislodged by polymerases, they are found most often in regions of high transcription. SynH3 is another H3 variant that is very common. Up until recently, I would have said universal. SynH3 replaces regular H3 at the centromere and it actually specifies where the centromere forms. This is illustrated in the figure above. In B, we can see that the centromere in each of these Drosophila chromosomes is marked in red by an antibody to SynH3. The nematode C. elegans has holocentric chromosomes, meaning that its centromere is spread out along the entire length of the chromosome. And so the antibody against SynH3 in green stains along the entire length of the chromosome. Figure A demonstrates that it is SynH3 and not a specific DNA sequence that specifies the location of the centromere. Here, SynH3 is stained in green, and the DNA sequence that is normally at the centromere is shown in red. In this set of human chromosomes, there is one chromosome marked with an arrow where the SynH3 staining is no longer where the DNA staining is, but the major constriction of the chromosome, the indentation that signifies the centromere, forms at the site of the SynH3 location. Recently, 
It was discovered that not all species after all have CINH3, and we're still working on determining how these species specify their centromeres. The species that don't have CINH3 are insects, and most of them have holocentric chromosomes. So we've talked about H3.3, H2AZ, and CINH3. There are a number of other histone variants, but most of them have very specialized functions. Many of them have functions in the germline or with the sex chromosomes, such as macro H2A in mammals, which binds to the inactive X chromosome. They are a very interesting set of proteins, but they're not very well studied. In summary, the expression of canonical histones, H2A, H2B, H3, and H4, is replication coupled. Outside of S phase, histone variants replace canonical histones if needed. H2AZ and H3.3 are generally associated with regions of high transcription. CNH3 is the histone variant found at the centromere, specifying its identity. Other histone variants have roles in the germline, sex chromosome biology, and DNA repair.